I know this, you have struggled with it many times and everyone each of us has experienced this anomaly on our 3D skinned characters. During the animation, the skin geometry turns and twists in a very unnatural way, squeezing the 3D form around the rotating joints. To overcome this problem, we have implemented in Bones Pro version 4.64 the long-awaited and popular dual quaternion skinning method. This new calculation in Bones Pro allows you to deform your 3D objects while preserving the volumes around the deforming bones and joints. For the beginning, we need just to add Bones Pro modifier on the top of our modifier stack and assign bones to it. Even with the current sophisticated Bones Pro skinning methods, you can see how the body volumes start getting thinner and distorted around the rotation joint. All you have to do now is to switch to dual quaternion mode by pressing the button in the panel. From that moment, the skinning artifacts is removed and replaced with a dual quaternion computation. As you can see, the difference is huge. Where before the snail flash was collapsed in a vertex, we have now a very nice undistorted result. Not only the twist joint problems are solved, you can achieve much better results in any rotation or scaling direction. Even the total deviation of the model, as we can see it here, produce a result that must not be necessarily classified as a damaged form. In this chapter, we will take a closer look at the common skinning methods and their comparisons. As first, we can see here the default max skin, the classic presentation of the linear skinning. The mesh volume is not preserved during the animation. We have also to invest a lot of time and effort to tune envelopes to get some reasonable results. The second case here is skinned with Bones Pro, which is also a linear blending based calculation yet with automatically optimized bone weighting, creating smooth organic skinning results out of the box. The third solution is the Bones Pro with dual quaternion enabled. The smooth skinning is active and the body volume is preserved. The computation speed is not affected by adding dual quaternion calculation. Your character simulation in viewport is not slower. Not only did the skin collapsing artifacts, which you have experienced while using linear interpolation methods, are removed, dual quaternion option make rigging setup even more simple. Dual quaternion option doesn't affect render times and it can be also used for character animation in real-time engines. One great feature Bones Pro offers in combination with dual quaternions is the option to partially mask out the areas where you want to have linear skinning visible. In other words, you mix dual quaternions and linear skin on one model. To achieve this, you have to have dual quaternion button toggled on and visualized mode visible. As next, deselect old bones. It is important because dual quaternion affects always the whole object. In the menu Paint Weights, select now Paint Quaternion Blend and open the Options window. Differently from other weight painting workflows, the dual quaternions uses only values between 0 and 1. Be careful, the dual quaternion is very sensitive and the values of 0.01 could be a good starting point. Holding the keys on your keyboard ALT and painting with left mice button can now subtract the dual quaternion values. When the dark mask appears, just as you can see it on the screen, the dual quaternion values are eliminated and the linear skin comes through. This is very useful to block some areas, for example, if you wish to keep the inner fold of your arm, leg and so on. The example here shows the mix of preserving the bulge on the outer part of the object using dual quaternion, while the inner part was masked out to use classic linear skin. How does it work in the practical case of a 3D character? It is very simple. You just toggle the dual quaternion on and the difference is obvious. But this volume preserving is not always the best solution. If we take a look at the back of the character, we get some Kim Kardashian-like effect. An unnatural bulge blows up, creating a silly appearance. 
For this problem, we have the masking solution. Simply deselect the bones, pick the paint quaternion pen, and while holding on your keyboard Alt and using left mice button, subtract the bulge effect. You can use the Alt plus left mice button for subtracting and the Shift left mice button for smoothing or polishing the areas. I won't go here into the production workflow of how to mask and rig the character, this is the job of a character artist or character rigger, but only to show you in this small time window what tools you can choose for optimizing the character rig workflow. Dual Quotanion is the new and the powerful one, and there are certainly cases where it will save you a lot of time while producing results impossible to recreate with linear skinning method. Also, do not forget that the Bones Pro Dual Quaternion implementation is a very precisely designed, uncompromising solution. It respects all three translate modes – the Move, the Rotate and the Scale transformation in the best quality. Compared to Maya Dual Quaternions, which lack the correct scale transformation, you can perfectly scale Bones in Max for your tentacle or alien animations. There is only one thing you have to consider while working with dual quaternions. No matter if you are using Max, Maya or Blender, dual quaternions work only up to 180 degrees. As soon as you cross 180 degrees, the form flips. You cannot rotate your bones over 180 degrees while using dual quaternion without causing this artifact. This is not our or Max or Maya fault, this is just the nature of the algorithm. I hope you liked our new developments and technology previews and if you want to learn more about Bones Pro and to engage it in your own productions, please visit www.bonespro.com or www.3dplugin.com. Thanks for watching.